you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, richtv.io, richpigdaily.com, here with our world famous top 10 stocks for April 2022. Top 10 stocks, Rich TV. Make sure you go to richtv.io where you can become a member of our trading community and you can learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrencies. We absolutely love Bitcoin. One of our top 10 picks is a huge cryptocurrency exchange. Now let's take a look at our world famous top 10 stocks for April, 2022, exclusively here on Rich TV Live. Make sure you subscribe. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, so for my 10th pick, FedEx. I love FedEx and I love to mark the low, low and the high, high. So I know exactly when I'm looking at a stock where the low is for the year, where the high is for the year. For the last year, you can clearly see the lowest FedEx has ever been is right around 200 bucks, currently sitting right at 234, all right? So we're definitely near the lower end of the zone here, and it's been as high as 319. So when I'm giving you these alerts and I'm giving you my top 10, it's not to say you got to buy it today, but this is a company you need to put on your radar, put on your watch list. This is FedEx, one of the largest companies in the world. And trading at $234, been as low as $200, currently at $234. So for me, a perfect entry would be you know, $220 or lower, maybe even $200 if it gets there again, is exactly where I'd be looking to buy this company. And where would I look to be selling? Well, it's been as high as $319. And you can see here that when it gets over $300, that's where it starts to get resistance. So I'd be looking to sell probably you know, anywhere from $280 or higher depending on you know, the type of momentum it gets. But if you can get in at you know, 220 or lower in this zone right here and lower, if you can get in at 220 or lower and be selling at 280 or higher, you're gonna have a lot of opportunity to make money there. And that's why I believe that right now we need to put FedEx on your radar, on your watch list, a quality company. You can see the trend line is down. And this is what I look for. This is my pattern, guys. That's the kind of tilted L backwards check mark that I look for where a stock has come down aggressively and now is starting to do a dead cap bounce off the bottom or a trend reversal pattern. So I believe FedEx is a quality company that everybody should put on their watch list. Everybody should put on their radar. My number 10 pick for April, 2022. And number nine, hood. So you're going to see these patterns that I look for in the markets. Quality company, again, that I believe is a growth company a growth story, but look at this. It went as high as 80 plus dollars on the excitement of the IPO. And then it went all the way back down to under 10 bucks. Just destroyed, right? Came all the way to like just under 10 bucks, I believe at one point. And it's doing the exact same thing. It's doing a trend reversal pattern now. It's got that same pattern, uh, a kind of like on a bad angle L where it's come all the way down and it's starting to do a trend reversal pattern. So how do I trade this? Well, I think this is a quality company that everyone should put on their radar and put on their watch list. I think if you mark the high, high and the low, low, you can see that we're very close to the low. And I would be loving to get into this at $10 or less, but this is a company I believe has a huge gap to fill, might take some time, but this is a quality company I believe that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, clearing, clearly in a good zone at these levels or lower where it currently trades right around $13. It got as high as 16, came back down. So in my opinion, Hood is a quality company that we want to kind of accumulate at these lower levels and I think has a great future and I believe is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed at these levels. DraftKings. Hood is my number nine pick in 2022 and my number eight pick is DraftKings. So same thing, just looking at the charts, I think a lot of companies now are heavily oversold. And you can see here, I'm going to mark the low, low and the high, high. DraftKings was as low as $15. That would be a phenomenal entry. But you can see, once again, we're in this zone where we're near the bottom of its trading zone. It's been as high as $64, been as low as $15, and we're currently at $19. So this is what I look for. Now, if we look at the trend line, you can clearly see a very clear trend down where it came down from 60 plus all the way to 15 and now is doing a trend reversal pattern. There it is again, that same pattern that I look for DraftKings, my number eight pick for 2022 quality company and a company that I believe is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. 
Not trying to tell you to buy at these prices, always try to enter in at it on a dip. Here's Airbnb. Now, another quality company that we think that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and I believe could be in a good zone. So you can see here, it hit a high of 212, came all the way down to 130, and now is doing a pretty aggressive trend reversal pattern. So this is a quality company I think can really benefit from the world opening up from uh, you know what has been a terrible, terrible pandemic with COVID-19. And you can see it's come down and it's coming back up. So I'm not trying to tell you to buy a 173, but I think this is a quality company. And if it goes back down to that 130 zone again, um, or even maybe like 150 or lower, you always want to be buying in the bottom of the zone. And I think in this type of market where the market is very volatile, very choppy, and has been for a year, you can be patient, put these companies on your radar, put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. And when you get it in your zone at the 130 zone, let's say, for example, if and when it gets to that zone, that's when you got to snipe. That's when you got to act. And that's when you need to take your position. Now, this is a new pick, probably like a kind of a secret pick that no one's really talked about. So I'm going to talk about it. So this is D-O-G-Z, Dogness International Corporation. And I believe that this has a ton of momentum, been as high as nine, been as low as two, currently at six. So this is more of a momentum trade right now. You can see that it had a huge move up, came down like a lot of stocks have, like aggressively and now is doing a very aggressive trend reversal pattern is kind of on fire. So a little bit more of a momentum trade here, not telling you to necessarily chase this or ride it in the red, but one to put on your radar, put on your watch list. You can see it's been as high as nine. Now it's six and it's come up from two to six. So it has a lot of momentum. This momentum might continue, or if it dips, it might be an interesting play to enter in on a dip. So DOGZ, put on your radar, Put on your watch list my number six pick for 2022. ARBNB, ABNB is the symbol, is my number seven pick for 2022. And in number five, Coinbase. So I'm a big fan of Coinbase. I love Coinbase and I absolutely love cryptocurrencies. I love the digital revolution and I, I can't get enough crypto. So I'm trying to accumulate as much crypto as humanly possible. My message is for everyone to try to do the same. And I just feel like Coinbase is near bottom, right? Uh, you can see here, it's trading near the bottom of the zone. We can clearly see a very clear trend line come down from its all-time highs, right at IPO day, all the way down to these lower levels where it just recently hit just a couple of weeks ago. And it's got that same, you know, tilted L backwards check mark zone and chart that I look for. And I love Coinbase. So I think if you can get Coinbase at these levels, 190 or lower, you're in a very good zone. And I think this is a quality company that has an incredible future. That is one of the largest exchanges for cryptocurrencies in the world. Coinbase, my number five pick for April, 2022. In number four, Tesla. Now this is Obviously, one of my favorite picks always has been for a long time. Now, I want to tell you that when I look at this chart, it's kind of, you know, obviously it's coming off a bottom very aggressively. You can see it's been as high as 1200, been as low as in the last year as 549. And it's currently sitting right at 1092. And I know you're going to say, but Rich, it's kind of high. It's in the high of the zone. Why do you want to buy Tesla? Tesla's announced that they're doing a shareholder vote for a forward split. I believe the forward split will be a very bullish indicator and uh, catalyst for Tesla. That's why I believe Tesla needs to be on your radar and needs to be on your watch list. Now, it's just made a huge move up, so I'm not suggesting you go buy it today, but if they approve the forward split and they announce it and it happens, we could see this go much, much higher. And I truly believe after the forward split, it will continue to go up after that. It's already did a forward split last year at $400 and gone as high as $1,200 after the forward split. It went back down to just under $700, and, and I'll show you where it did that. It, it went back down to $700, just under $700 right here, and then they announced this forward split, and you saw this huge move up. So I just feel like this is one everyone needs to put on their radar. Everyone needs to put on their watch list. It's made so much money for investors, and that's why they're my number four pick for April, 2022. 
And I would love to get them on a dip. I don't own them right now, but it's one that I've traded, made money with. And I believe most investors have made money with Tesla. And that's why I think it's one that everyone needs to be aware of and one that everyone should have on their watch list, especially after the forward split. I fully expect it to go higher again, like we see them here trading just under 1100 after their forward split last year, which took them from 2000 to 400 and they're back already at over a thousand again. So it's been easy money for investors. And I believe this trend continues for Tesla. Google, this is my next buy guys. I just been waiting for a dip. It hasn't happened. They've announced the forward split similar to Tesla. I think it's one that everyone needs to put on their radar. Everyone needs to put on their watch list. I'm talking about a quality company that everybody should own. And I believe after the forward split, it will just explode higher. I'm so excited about the forward split. I need to get some before the split, but you can see it's trading near the high of the zone. So I have just been waiting for a dip. I'd love to get it at 2,500 or lower. So that's kind of where I'd like to buy it. Um, it might not get there. So I'm watching it carefully, looking to buy some Google. And after the forward split, it should be trading at about $140 after their 20 to one forward split. I'm gonna be a huge buyer after the forward split. So I wanna to try to get some before the split and then I wanna get some after the split. That's how I plan to buy Google. It's my next big buy, Google my number three pick for April, 2022. In number two, a company that I actually did buy, it's my last one that I've just personally bought. I'm already up on this, Amazon. They just announced the forward split as well. So Tesla's doing a forward split. Google's doing a forward split. Amazon's doing a forward split. I want them all. Um, I right now own Amazon, just one share. And you can see after they announced the forward split, it's run from like 2,600 to a high of 3,400 and now back to 3,200. So I'm already up on this trade, been up as, as much as 12 or 13%, just holding this for the forward split. And then after the forward split, I'm going to buy more. So three stocks that I'm going to be buying before and after the forward split, Google, Amazon, and Tesla. I've bought Amazon. I'm looking to enter into Google and Tesla. So I think everyone needs to be aware of all three, three of the biggest and best companies in the world, three of the best stocks in the world. And I think everybody needs to be aware of them. And everyone would be proud to own these three stocks in their portfolio. Amazon, my number two pick for April, 2022. And number one, Roblox. So I love this stock and I love this company. And I think it's a great quality company. And I want to show you what I see here because I think it's an absolute steal at these levels. It's been as high as 141, been as low as 36. So at 36 is clearly where you want to buy it. But look where it is right now at $46, despite the fact that this is a growing company doing huge revenues, and I believe will continue to be a huge player. So I believe Roblox is a screaming buy. That's why they're my number one pick for April 2022. Put on your radar, put on your watch list, and it once again has that exact same chart that I look for where it comes down aggressively and then does a trend reversal pattern. And it's clearly doing a trend reversal pattern and starting to find some resistance, finding a floor. So I think if you can get in at these levels or lower, you're going to have a great opportunity to fill your gap and potentially make huge returns. I think there's a very good opportunity here for investors to see enormous returns. Like to get back to its all-time highs, we're talking about 270% upside, absolutely phenomenal potential for Roblox, my number one pick for April 2022. What do you guys think about our list? I think this is a very quality list. Love to hear your opinions. If you like it, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I think this is a great list, a quality list. Love to know what you think. This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Thank you.